Well, we celebrated the uh, first anniversary of the establishment of the Evicuwe National Monument. This was a tremendous accomplishment that took several decades to get uh, the monument designated. And so it was a citizen effort. It wasn't driven by the government. We all came together. We met in people's living rooms. We met at senior centers. Getting a Vikwame designated was quite a long process, but it brought our community of Searchlight uh, together with other communities like the Fort Mojave Indian Tribe and uh, all of these great conservation partners. The alternative was that this place that's sacred to 12 different tribes and really culturally important as well as ecologically important would end up being used for industry and not really cited appropriately. What ended up happening was so many citizens came together and we shared what our fears were about the future of this place. That's how this proposal for the monument went forward to our Congress people. These groups have been working for 20 years and they put all the pieces together and then I introduced the bill in Congress to push it over the finish line. We got the president to declare it. It means something personal to the environmentalists, something personal to the tribes, something personal to the bird watchers and the stargazers, but overall it's just a good sign that we can save public lands for the future generations. When Searchlight town folk first heard about this proposal, we were very concerned about our public lands that surround us for our own personal reasons. But as this campaign developed and we started to envision ourselves as a gateway community to a nationally recognized protected landscape, that, that sounds pretty good to us. Uh, because we would like to invite more people to come visit our community. So what we've seen since the designation is that our community believes it in itself in a way we haven't been able to believe in ourselves for quite a while. I think that many of our residents were surprised when the designation actually did happen because as a small rural part of Nevada, we sometimes feel neglected from the rest of the world. We only have 250 residents. And so it was very special for us to get this designation and be proud of what we have and what we're part of.